Today we're excited to share a new Pen 200 feature with you, Topic Exercises. Topic Exercises have three goals. Provide a focused, interactive medium for students to practice their skills before jumping into the open-ended Pen 200 labs. Allow students to track their progress over time directly through the Offsec training library. Give students instant direct feedback as to whether their solutions to exercise questions are correct. We've logged into the Offsec training library and connected to the Pen 200 VPN through our Kali Linux virtual machine. This is the main Pen 200 course page where we can find all the available topics. Let's navigate to the command line fun module and to the bash environment learning unit. The learning unit text is organized via multiple subsections. The last subsection of the Bash Environment Learning Unit is titled Practice. This page contains a number of exercises. There are currently two types of exercises on the page. The first will be familiar to current Pen 200 students. These exercises are meant to be done directly on your Kali Linux VM and the personal client machines assigned to you in your lab control panel. This first type of exercise will continue to exist as part of the course material until they've been converted to the new topic exercise format. Beginning at question three, we find the topic exercises. Each topic exercise is associated with a particular virtual machine. The VM can be started, stopped, and reverted directly on the page via the resources section. Let's start the first topic exercise VM. and then review the question text. Next, we'll log on to the target VM. We'll need the credentials and machine details, which we can find in the VM context menu. The username is student, the password is lab, and the SSH port is 2222. With this information, we can now connect to the target VM using our Kali Linux terminal. To connect to the VM, we'll use the full SSH command as follows. Our SSH command includes a couple of extra options. The implementation of topic exercises allows us to use the same IP, port, and user multiple times. Including these options prevents us from corrupting the known hosts file. Once we've connected to the machine, we can complete the exercise. In this case, we can get the flag by executing a single command. We can now inspect the output and find the flag. Next, we'll paste the flag contents into the offset training library. Before hitting enter to submit the flag, we'll change one character just to show what happens when the flag is incorrect. The notification tells us that the entered value is incorrect. Let's resubmit the correct value. Excellent. We have successfully input the flag. Note that once the flag has been input correctly, it will be saved for all future logins. The flags are all the same length and are randomly generated upon each revert of a target machine. That means that if we were to restart the target VM and redo the exercise, we would receive a different flag value. Finally, we can shut down the machine using the stop button. Topic exercises have been extremely well received from our beta testers and we're very excited to release them to you now. Over the course of the next month, we'll be releasing more topic exercises into the Pen 200 course material.